What is up, family and friends? Welcome to Yahweh's Aroma. And today I have a special guest with me. Say hi! Hi! It's a little bit. She's like, what is that thing looking at me for? What's that fuzzy ball doing on top of there? <laughs> She's got a little bit of messed up hair, but hey, it's okay. She's still cute. But anyways, today we're going to be cooking Worcestershire chicken. Stick around. Say bye! Worcestershire chicken. Normally, um, I don't have a 20 ounce bottle. I have the size just right underneath this. I was at Sam's and uh, they had two of these bottles together. So I was like, hey, that's a really good deal. Let me go ahead and grab it up. But anyways, we're going to have six chicken breasts. I'm going to cut them up for you real quick. But first and foremost, what you want to do is, is you're going to empty out the whole bottle. Okay. So we're going to empty out the whole bottle into our pot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take four teaspoon or tablespoon of butter and we're going to add that to it and the reason why we add the butter is because if you just use Worcestershire sauce then it's going to be like kind of spicy and then hot so anyways when you add the butter in there you're, you're just going to try to tame it down just a little bit to where it's not as spicy so anyways we're going to pour this into the into the pot we're going to put the butter into the pot and you, you're going to turn it on, but you're barely, barely, barely going to turn it on because you just want that butter to slowly melt inside there and just make like a little sauce type of thing. You don't want no boiling, no bubbles, no anything like that. And then while that's heating up, we're going to cook, we're going to uh, cut this chicken up for you. All right, here we go. Hey girl, get in here for a minute. Help me out. All right, so I got my helpers. I got my helpers here. And what they're going to do is, is they're going to take, and this one here is going to just sit here. I, want, I need you to pour this. I need you to pour every bit of it in that pot. Oh, I thought I just dropped it. And then this one here, what you're going to do is, uh, did you wash your hands? Yeah. That's first and foremost, did you wash your hands? Yeah. You lying. No. Let me smell them. I put the... <laughs> did she I wash them? Two soaks together? Yeah. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab that butter, okay, and then you're just going to go over here and you're going to put it into this pot. A trick with the Worcestershire sauce is if you hold it to the side, then it, hang on, come here. If you hold it to the side, it comes out a whole lot faster than if you hold it straight up and down. So you want to try to hold it to the side, okay? Alright, now, right? Alright, just put that in there. All right, so then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn, we're gonna turn the eye on, and we're gonna turn it on low. So it's like gonna be at the lowest point, but yet it's still gonna be hot enough to melt that butter. All right. So anyways, what we're gonna do is, as you can see, a lot of this chicken, it has a lot of fat to it. Um, and what you wanna do is just get a good pair of shears, and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut all this fat off of this chicken, just like that. So then, as soon as you do that, you're going to trim all the fat off the chicken. And then after you trim all the fat off the chicken, then you want to sit here and you're going to cut the chicken up. And there's no specific size, no specific way you want to do it. We're just going to cut the chicken up and just a bunch of little pieces like this right here. So let me go ahead and tell you something real quick. 
Uh, this right here, I've, only, I've already cut off three of the chicken breasts. It maybe took me a total of three minutes, if that. Um, but let me go ahead and tell you something in the past. My wife loves this recipe. Um, but the only thing about this recipe is before, I used to do it with a knife. And it took forever to cut this chicken up. And I hated making Worcestershire chicken because it took so long because I, I used to take the, the knife and I used to cut it and all the pieces used to be the exact same size and it just it, it, it got overwhelming. So we didn't have it for a while. Um, but then uh, I got a pair of shears one day and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to cut it up. So I started cutting it up and man, like it made life so much easier. So if you don't have a pair of shears, get you a pair of shears. If you like using a knife, hey, go right ahead. It is going to take you a little bit longer. But a pair of shears, as you just saw, you just be able to cut it and, it, and it'll be good. All right, so let's check on our butter real quick. All right, as you can see that the butter is starting to melt. Um, it's still on really low heat. Um, and about the time that you get done with your chicken, the, the butter should be good and, and melted. Let's get back to cutting the chicken. Alright, so we got all that chicken cut up um, and m most people wouldn't need this much chicken to cook at one time. But we have a lot of people that we got to feed and also we'd like to have some for lunch tomorrow. Because Worcestershire chicken is always better the next day. But anyways, let's take a gander real quick about what this butter looks like and what this is going to look like in this pot. And then we'll go ahead and move forward from there. Let's check it out. Alright. You see how the butter is just melted in there and and how um, it's not boiling, it's not doing anything like that right there. So this is exactly what you want. And then after you do this, now we're just going to dump the chicken in there. And then also whenever you dump your chicken in there, um, if your oven or if your eye is like uh, zero is the lowest, ten is the highest, or if you have a low and high, you want it to be about seven. Uh, to about seven and a half and then all you're going to do is is just going to stir your chicken around all right and again if you only use three chicken breasts then you you only need to use half of the bottle if you use six chicken breasts you, you should use it all and it looks like a whole lot uh, and the chicken breast is going to give off a little bit more moisture um, but all it's, it's going to take as soon as it starts heating up to about seven seven and a half uh, then you just keep stirring it up and it probably takes about 15 to 20 minutes and and we'll show you what it looks like um, when we get closer to the end and then we'll come right back at you all right so it's been about 10 minutes now and as you can see the the liquid it still looks kind of high, but here in just a few more minutes, maybe about another five or six more minutes, it's gonna start going down and you're not even gonna be able to tell it. But in about five or six more minutes, it'll probably be enough to where you can actually have to start sc scraping the bottom. Uh, so now would be a perfect time if you're making any kind of sides or anything else with your Worcestershire chicken, now would be the time to start putting that stuff on. Especially if you're gonna be doing like macaroni and cheese or or potatoes or or anything like that but we'll catch you back <laughs> just a little bit and also the smell that you get off of this after about 10 minutes it smells so good Haley you want, you want to take a whiff yeah go ahead oh man <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you have small nostrils like that the Worcestershire smell is kind of stout it's kind of strong, so if you just go over there and go like that, like what she just did, did it burn? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to burn just a little bit. But the smell, like how you can smell it inside the house, 
It smells absolutely perfect. Doesn't it smell good from here, though? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're getting really, really close. Now, as you can see, it looks like there's still a lot of liquid in there, right? But if you take the bottom of the, the spoon, you can already start seeing the bottom of the pan. So you only have just a little bit longer, maybe just a couple more minutes. You don't want to wait until it gets like, you know, no liquid at all right there, because then you're going to be burning the bottom of the, of the chicken. So even though it looks like there's a lot of liquid there, remember, if you can scrape it, and you start seeing the bottom of that pan, and then you know you're almost done. You only got just a couple more minutes. Just a couple more minutes. All right. All right. So I got my little chefs in here. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the chicken. What do you think? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you think about the chicken? It's really good. It's really good. All right. You hear it from there. They're the professionals, because if the kids don't like it, I don't know if the adults like it. But anyways, we'll catch you on the flip side. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you tried, because it is really, really good. Anyways, we hit over 60 subscribers. We finally hit that mark. Hey, guess what? We can only keep going up. We can only keep going up. Please, like it, share it, subscribe, and guess what? We're out of comments on the Bible studies. We're out of comments on the food. We need comments down below. What would you like to see me cook? What would you like to see me teach? Tell me what you want to see, and I'll bring it to you. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side.